Last time on Sea of Stars. By overcoming the dead wizard's illusions, our heroes have secured passage to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse. In this place where the night is everlasting and the dead still live, they brace themselves to fight the last known dweller. While evil forces prepare to play their hand, fear is set to strike very close to home. Hmm. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Sea of Stars on the PS5, right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you all so much for clicking on yet another episode. In the last part, we did, uh, well, we did the chore that we needed to do for the pirates, and they dropped us off. Well, kind of came with us, actually, to Wraith Island, which is surprising because you can't leave Wraith Island. So why did the captain do that? And also... The captain seems to be a little bit more than they're leading on, and I'm very curious to see what they end up doing. So, in this episode, we are hopefully going to get to the town of Lucent, and maybe, just maybe, take down the Dweller of Woe itself. We'll see. Let's go ahead and rest and get into this episode proper. Hey, huge shout out to those of you watching in the premiere and a big shout out to those of you leaving likes and comments. It really does help out the channel, the, the especially the series, and I just really appreciate you. Anyways, here we are in a spook. This, oh, what was that? Where'd it go? Oh, let's get, oh. Okay, we got zombies called a Lonzin and a Woodland Spirit. And it also looks like we're not going to be able to kill the Lonzin or break the lock on the Lonzin because it looks like it requires poison damage, maybe? Acidic? I don't know. I, I can't do that. Can you do that? Because I can't. We'll see what we can do anyways. Get a boost here and... Doesn't look like it's weak to... Physical or moon. Chomp, chomp. Uh-oh. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Okay. Well. See what we can do here. 23 damage. Woodland Spirit. Ooh, that's cool. Oh no, that's less cool. Uh, let's go ahead and focus on the lawns on here. And let's hope that our girl Valir can get a big old Moonerang off. Uh oh. Oh! Not quite enough to take out the Wild Spirit, but enough to kill that 264 experience for that and we grab some wild spirit meat gross it's also fairly hard to see things but there is definitely some mushrooms down here that we can grab and also looks like a rainbow conch that makes that our 15th i think 15th rainbow conch we're cruising with those let me know in the comments below how many you've found so far wait a minute looks like there is be a hidden room here. Ooh. Hello. With a random chest. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. We're not going to be able to break both of those locks. Okay, what do we do then? Um, we can at least break this one. Big boost here. Three. 47 damage. Uh, and because I want a big heal, we'll go ahead and Mending Light here. And then we can finish off this enemy. No problem. So I wonder if they... Oh, we get the chest back, too. Look at that. Found one Calcite Lid. You're telling me that we get another upgrade for Garl. Already. We still don't have... We have one that we got for Valir, because I didn't buy the other one yet. And... Wow. All right, well, cool. Let's go ahead and head out then. Looks like we got everything that we can there. We got that rainbow conch. We got a weapon for Garl. Is Garl gonna be the best character? Cause uh, he already, oh, my bad. No one saw that, close your eyes. Cause Garl's already the best character as a character. You know what I mean? All right, let's get a hit. Oh God, no. All right, this is spicy. This is just pure spice. Pure, pure spice. Let's go ahead and attack um, 
I feel like we do need to focus the wild spirits down, but... Oh, there those attack twice. All right, let's see if we can boost and get a big sunball here. We still don't know what those are weak to. I think those things just aren't weak to anything. Are you weak to moon damage? Like, just, nope. So it's only sun damage for those. 444 XP, though. Looks like we'll probably get a level up any time then. It is a little, it's going to be a little challenging trying to find out if there's anything hidden here. Because I don't really see a way, like, it's just, it's just dark. Um, hopefully they light any secret passages like they did with that other one that was, like, under the... Oh, we're already on the world map. Okay. Well... Looks like we have the town of Lucent in front of us there. Oh my god, the music. It's so cool. Let's do it. This is where the pirates went, so they're here somewhere. Hey, we saw a stump that had something similar in it before. Let's go ahead and talk to people. Sometimes I can hear cheers and applause coming from the river. It's really strange. Okay, all right. Talk to her. That mansion and its cursed voice took everything from me. My son, my husband, too many of my friends. Why hasn't she called me yet? Uh, okay, so the mansion is where the dweller is. Or another rain. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. You are not getting the contents of my chest. If you want it, you're gonna have to get my brother to make amends. I'm s What? You're not getting anything unless you get my brother to make amends. Is, the, is that the, the painting is talking? This is so cool! Oh, that's a bird. Can we hop over here? We can. Get some potatoes. Their brother to make amends. Okay. Oh, the music is so good. Some more lettuce. Oh, who are you? Oh, you look scary. Wait a minute. Do I want to talk to you? Please don't fight me. Please don't fight me. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, hello. Have you seen my turbo cookie? I could really go about eating it right now. Um, n n you, no? You want what now? Okay. Well, at least, okay. Uh, dear viewer, what? This area is so cool. Look at the, the lighting effect. Wow, brilliant. Top notch. I also grew up never knowing when the next call would be, but still, I feel for my kids. Are these just books? They look extremely old and boring. What? He's still mad at me? All I did was eat a snack that I didn't know was his. What does he want me to do? Give him some berry jam? We're portraits now. I can't. Wait, I'm sorry. Is that a Chrono Trigger reference too? Like if you eat the snack, you go to jail? Nah. Maybe. That's, uh, may, uh, uh, maybe. Alright, so we just give you a berry jam? Is this from my brother? Oh, thank you. My treasure is yours. Oh, that was easy. Nice. Another rainbow conch. That brings us to 16. Okay. More tomatoes here. 10 tomatoes. Looks like we can run behind that house there. See what's inside this. Hello. It becomes tiring, always being on edge, wondering who will be next. I can't blame those who choose to spend their time at the tavern. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything in here, so... Boogie on out. Oh, an assortment of snacks. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Useless. This fountain has seen better days. Oh, two kids sitting outside of a creepy haunted everything playing freaking patty cake. Adults are too afraid to come outside like that changes anything. I tried to enter the shed on the other side of the bridge, but it's locked. I wonder what's in there. Okay. Don't mind me just ignoring you, freaks. General store. Oh, we got to go in there. 
Are you are you two brothers? A bunch of armor pieces. Hello. And materials used to craft equipment. Looking for equipment? Uh oh wow. Wait, yeah. Bone armor? That's pretty good. Calcite lid, we just got that for free. Scrimshod sword. The result of a femur and a lot of free time. What? Gold to price reduction in all. Are you serious? Price reduction in all shops. Oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't buy stuff earlier. Yo, that's for sure what we're that's for sure a relic we're getting. Wait, that let's turn it on. So hang on. So this is. Wasn't that 48? I think it's already on. It is already on. Prompts a 10% price reduction in shops. Oh, man. The memento of a legendary haggler known to all merchants. Gold tooth. Gold tooth. I wonder if that's a reference to something. I mean, I know gold tooth is like in a bunch of stuff, that name, but. So we could buy. Could buy stuff. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little hesitant to buy anything. I will buy a bone armor. I will do that. We'll put that in the inventory. I'm gonna buy that one because Valir, Valir needs that. It's good for, it's better for physical than magic. Um, and Zale, so Zale has the Mage Knight armor that we got in the abandoned lab. So Valir now has bone armor, which is cold, but reliable. And our boy Garl still has pirate garb, which is cool. All right, what do you have for us? We can buy uh, bones. That's probably not a bad idea. Hearty stew. Ooh. Tastes like home. And we already have the recipe, so we can't do any more of that. All right, cool. Let's um, let's boogie on out then. I think we have... Like, it wouldn't be a bad idea to buy that sword. Because now I'm feeling like we should have bought that staff for Valir, and we didn't. So let's wait. Gold seems to be so hard to come by in this game. Or at least they're they're careful with how much they give you, which is good, I think. Definitely turn on a relic that gives us 10% off at shops, though. Like, I don't feel I don't feel like that's an accessibility thing. I think that's just cool. I kind of feel the same way about the XP one, because, you know, I like to grind. And there's a level cap, I'm assuming. So, those who try to leave just get called right away. I don't know why you came here, but I'm sorry to say you're now stuck here all the same. I was wondering why they wouldn't just leave. There isn't much to do here. Kind of ironic that the stew is our signature dish. That's all we do all day ourselves. Stew. Ha! Okay, I'm gonna go. You all have a wonderful... You do... You... Okay. Okay, this looks like the... That shack that we were being... Hello? Have you seen the ghost at the western end of the village? I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Oh, was that the one asking for a turbo cookie? Yeah, I saw that guy. Oh, it looks like we can actually... Oh, cool. Jump. Oh, nope. Um... Oh, rainbow... Rainbow conch. That's number 17, y'all. 17 rainbow conches for me. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Doesn't look like we can get up. Yeah, so it looks like there's another traversal thing, and I remember seeing there was that rod, too, very early on in the, like, almost in the first screen of the game that had something similar. So that must be a traversal thing that we'll be able to unlock at some point, hopefully soon. Very curious to see what's going on with Captain Cliché here, because I have a feeling Captain, Captain Cliché is not being forthwith about who they are. We'll find out soon. All right, I guess this is the only place we can go then. The tavern is the first stage of grief. Grief. Hello. Welcome new visitors to the first stage of grief. Please join us and allow yourselves to cope in whichever way suits you best. <laughs> I will be your enabler for tonight. Just remember to be respectful and supportive of other patrons and always entertain their stories. <laughs> I'll let you grab a seat. Would you like anything to eat or drink to help your reassurances go down easier? Hello! We bring good news, Innkeeper. The Solstice Warriors have arrived to take care of the Dweller. 
Oh, why, of course they have. About my question, though, would you like any food or beverages to supplement the stories you'll be telling yourselves? Uh, but it's true. Huh, undoubtedly. This will surely come to pass, just as my most recent day trip to Brisk. Oh, it was so lovely. Now, for the third time, will you be needing anything else? Uh, we could use a room for a few days. Oh, naturally, most temporary guests do. Hey, we really are here to cleanse the island. We're just waiting for the others. Oh, absolutely, and I am here by choice. Uh, enjoy your stay at the first stage of grief. May it take your mind away from the inevitable. <laughs> and speaking of enjoyment, a band of musicians has just arrived. The show is about to begin. Uh, we already know them. We asked them to bring us to your island. <laughs> My, that is quite obviously factual. Yeah. I commend your ability to pretend you will fit right in. What the? Your room is being prepared. Just let me know when you're ready to sleep. Ouch. These poor people have been coping for so long. It's like they can't even deal with reality anymore. Good thing we're here to end this. Well, as soon as we have the Eclipse, and backup. I'm sure you'll both do great. Whoa, Keenuth has got an accordion. Actually, young man, this here is a concertina. Listen here, chums. We be the pirate crew that will someday claim the Vespertine. Oh, that is so happening. Our eyes have been on the prize for a long time now. Every day we refine our plan, and every night we see her in our dreams. I can leave any time I want. Any time? Hey, that's my middle name. <laughs> we live for adventure and for new horizons. Captain's word, one day we'll even sail the sea of Yolanda. Aye, aye, Captain. Apologies, Captain. They could totally go right now. Clearly, the only issue is they don't have a ship yet. When the going gets tough, we like to play a song. It goes something like this. What? Hey, so about Garl? Yeah, he can't fight the Dweller with us. But do you think we made a mistake? I mean, it's great to have him, it's just... I know. I could never forgive myself if we failed to protect him. Are you kidding me? No way! You guys are the best! I couldn't have said it better myself, girl. That's amazing. At least he's having a good time. Ha! Huh. I've been thinking about the cleansing a lot, too. Yeah, I'm sure glad we're not in charge. I thought saving the world would be all action and glory, but what these people have endured is all too real. Well, all the more reason to give it all we've got, right? Mm, right. So what now? We take a break, I suppose. Now that is scary. <laughs> let's just try and enjoy the place. Yeah, let's uh, check out this freaky, freaky deaky place that I'm sure is totally fine and not at all creepy. The only reason I'm staying in Lucent is to be with my friends. <laughs> okay. My, this is quite a good show. Better enjoy it before the band leaves for another island. <laughs> Probably tomorrow. Uh, okay. Looks like we do have another wheels match. Lots of new faces today. Seems everyone wants to come to Lucent, and I can see why. This place is flawless! Huh. Another round, please. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if Captain Cliché is the portal lady. No, that wouldn't- that'd be weird. Because she's been with them. But I find it interesting that she's not the one playing. I wonder if she's the portal lady. Now that is what I call good music. This is awesome! What's a concertina? Uh, I don't know. Something like an accordion, I guess. Yolanda? Music! Now that's one thing I could get behind. Oh my god, I love it. Had you not met my little friend here? Amazing flute. Oh my god, wait! His little- <laughs> I didn't even- I thought he was like holding it. That's a real life- He's got a little octopus friend. Dude, Keenathan is so cool. Wanna see me slap that bass, pal? Slap it a bass, pal! 
great reference. Oh my gosh. For my love you man. That's so funny. All right, let's win. Let's win the wheels match. So wheels was introduced to us in the previous episode, I believe, or the one before that. Uh, we're going to do champion game right away. And we have a new piece, actually, the Archer figurine. And I've done some, uh, I've, I've, I've done some, some wheels in here. I think I know how to play. Still kind of requires RNG, but we're going to see what we can do. So first off, we're going to do the, uh, we're going to use the mage because the mage is definitely the best figure so far. We're actually going to use the archer as well. I think that the knight, uh, well, the knight sucks. So we're going to go with the archer instead. And then we also are going against a mage and an assassin. And the way the assassin works is it can attack the crown on its, on when it, is able to attack it's able to attack the crown and also it delays one of your figures from being able to do anything you see those little towers next to your figures those uh are your actions how many rungs you need to go until you can do something so the way that it works is three equals one so you need three of one of either the diamond or the square or the hammer or whatever to be able to do one thing right so let's go ahead and spin and hope that we get lucky on this match Right now, we have three of the bulwarks, so we can actually go ahead and grab those. And then we'll grab these two, because that will be a promotion for our archer. And we're going to ignore this one, because it's just one, meaning there's no way we'll be able to get three for our mage to get progress on its tower. So hopefully, we get another diamond here. Unfortunately, we didn't get a diamond, but we do have a little bit bigger of a bulwark. We want that bulwark because the mage attacks twice. It attacks a bulwark and it attacks your health. So if we have a bulwark, we don't take that bulwark damage to the crown, if that makes sense. A lot of this, though, is going to be RNG. Luckily for us, we did get a nice two there. And it's a promotion piece, which is good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab these as well and hope that we get one or the other. So for sure now, the mage is going to get progress. We'll go ahead and grab. Perfect. So the mage, you'll see the mage will go down two rungs there. Perfect. And the assassin is already attacking. It delayed the mage, so the mage actually went back up. Super annoying, by the way. Uh, and we'll grab this so that we can upgrade the mage and this as well. Um, I think we're going to leave. Yeah, we'll leave that as it is. We'll grab that. That's great. That means we at least get one rung progress on our mage, as well as getting some promotions. Unfortunately, a bulwark started, so that kind of sucks because that means that our mage gets wasted. Uh, we'll grab these three. In fact, what we're going to do is we'll actually grab this one as well because that will start upgrading our mage. All right. So we got an upgrade for our mage and for our archer. And our archer is going to be able to move down a bit on the rungs. The archer can also shoot over a bulwark as long as it's not too high. I believe as long as it's not four. So this one right now, it would be able to shoot the crown. We'll grab these two or those three. All right. So unfortunately, we'll we'll release this one because it won't do anything. We'll get uh, two promotions. So both our mage and our archer are going to be promoted on this turn. And that will go down one. Their mage going down a bunch. And you'll see that bulwark now is actually pretty high. Uh, we'll grab the two there for our archer. Uh, yeah, let's grab this two just in case we get... Okay, that's great. We'll start getting more promotions on those. And now our mage will actually be able to attack... We'll attack the bulwark completely and then attack the health as well. So we've done three, what's probably called, let's say, face damage, right? Oh, great. Love that. So that's, uh, actually, we don't need that many. We just need one rung. So we'll grab, uh, we'll actually get rid of these two. Because that's three. So it'll, the archer will attack on this next round. Um, I would love this promotion. So we'll grab that too. And the bulwark started, but that's okay. The archer is going to go right over and do four damage. So the crown now of our enemy only has three health. So as long as we are able to... Uh, we need to bring this down. We need to hope for another... 
diamond. If we get another diamond piece here, we'll be able to shoot and win. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get one, uh, but we are promoted. The assassin's going to delay our our archer a little bit. We need diamonds. Diamonds, di oh, that is a lot of diamonds. Okay, just do that. Perfect. We shoot. We win. Game over, GG. We win. Look at that. Figured this game out, and I really enjoy it. I actually really like the minigame, but there you go. That's it done. Hey, you won. Congratulations. Here's your prize. And we get a bronze wheel. Uh, the way the wheels work is it just means that they have better spins. So you saw that that one could roll blanks and stuff. Uh, this one can just roll better pieces. It Eventually, you can get wheels that won't even have blanks on them uh, is my understanding of how that upgrade system works. Looks like there is the inn here, but not seeing any items or anything we can grab. No turbo cookies. I'm going to keep an eye out for turbo cookies, y'all. I need those, whatever that is. Oop, looks like... Interesting. Nothing in here. I'm kind of surprised. Huh. There's enough rooms in... There's enough beds in this room for us, Berlina, Brewgaves, Brugra and the Headmaster. So I wonder if that's where we'll be... Where we'll be staying. All right, so the only thing we can do now is talk to... Oh, we can change the song as well. Let's do a random song. Oh, that's so cool. Ready to rest? Yes. A few days of rest later. Uh, I'm sorry, what? So you're really going to buy a ghost ship with the magic coin we fetched? That's the plan. Hey, after the cleansing here is done, we'll be free to do whatever we want, right? Maybe we could sail with them for a while. Hmm. That sounds like fun. Why, I reckon a bigger vessel will require more hands indeed. Ha! I could sure go for being a sailor cook. No, a pirate chef sure has a nice ring to it. You're more than welcome aboard. Anyway, the captain said that the three of you had... Valtred! I... Uh, apologies, Captain. Well, if luck would have it, I'd be fun to sail together for a little while, just maybe. Huh? Hello? My, 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 remember 10 seconds ago when absolutely nothing happened. It was so boring. I wish something special occurred for once. Next round's on me. Woo! Uh, that was the Dweller of Woe. So it's true. This poor villager is just going to sleepwalk into the mansion and... Unless... Unless. Forget it. You can't save that villager. Y'all right, Captain? Ain't sounding like yourself. Uh, I mean, uh, it'd be a useless endeavor I'd be. Right. Uh, now how about you follow the captain's advice here and don't try anything stupid? We're going. But you can't! Uh, the barrier's impenetrable. You have to wait for the eclipse. Huh? Well... We won't sit here while someone is about to be eaten alive. You don't understand the mind control spell connects the dweller to its prey. You're not strong enough to stop that villager. Captain? We'll see about that. Let's go, Valir. That's weird. Um. Wait, wait for me! Ahoy, Captain. Something need doing? I just need to check on the raft. Why not send Valtrid? Some fresh air will do me good. Uh, of course, Captain. As you wish, Captain. The three of you stay here until I return. 
And do try to liven up the place. These people be needing it. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, he finally said it. Time to improvise. Who are you? She's gotta be. <gasps> the cursed woods are to the north of Lucen. We should use the eastern exit. Let's go. Do they say anything? I tried to... In no, they're... Okay, I wasn't sure if maybe their dialogue would change. We gotta... Go we gots to go. Let's see if we can save this villager or at least... Oh, we're... Yeah. Okay. Looks like there's something down here. Ferryman's Vigil. Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. Greetings, adventurer. Seek you passage across these waters? Then show me your colored flame or leave this place in shame. We don't have that. Okay. Uh, well, bye. All right. You know, it's worth going into these places just to see if maybe, just maybe, uh, there's something there, like a chest, a free chest could be there. Even though we're not supposed to go there yet, they could easily put something, right? Looks like there's another solstice shrine. Might as well check that too, real quick. Doesn't look like anything is here. Whoop. Okay. I don't see anything. And it looks like we need that traversal thing to get onto that peg in the middle again. So, I wonder what that would be. With the future, the mist of time told the Elder Mist that, what, that she'd be the one to create a path of, man. Eh, so probably not the same thing. And we're here at the Haunted Creek. Ooh, three new fish to get. All right, well. Let's get fishing, and then I'll, I'll, uh, let's do it. Oh, there we go. We already got one, and it is a spectral eel. Let's go ahead and fillet that. Oh, what is it? What is it? A ghost, or a, a ghost sturgeon. Ghost sturgeon. That's funny. All right, one more. And we got our third and final fish, a bone pike. Nice, and we'll end that there. We got all of them. I also went and checked and there are no items to be found here, but we got the spectral eel, the ghost sturgeon, and the bone pike. Don't forget, we do want to get every species of fish from the fishing holes that we can find. And we were able to get that one, no problemo. So let's go ahead and enter. Oh, well, that, that's alarming. Let's set up a camp first to see if there is uh well, if there's anything to be said about this. So, if the villager went into the Cursed Woods, does that mean that the Dweller's Lair is also north of Nusin? Lucent? Yeah, I guess. We should hurry into the woods. All right, well, before we do that, let's go ahead and save. Which means it's our time to head into the Cursed Woods. Man, I feel like with the... Some of these random encounters are starting to get a little spicy. I'm assuming that this next area here is going to be kind of challenging. Let's, uh... Ooh. Oh, got it. What are you? What are you? A Renty. Oh, we need to switch to Valir. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter if it's... If it starts right away with that lock. Okay. Weak to magic or moon. Either way. Let's go ahead and smack that. Goodbye, woodland spirit. Oh, ow. All right. Go ahead and get a boost there. And Garl. All right. So, indeed, weak to moon. 216 experience for that. That is... That is a lot from that first little... From two enemies already? Like, dang. I think we're in for a little bit of a difficulty spike here, folks. Can we jump down? Oh, we can. This is what I mean. Is it's going to be hard to see any passageways here. Beautiful, though. Oh, the music is so good. Can we climb over or do anything over here? No. Oh, it has... <laughs> actually scared... That bird actually scared me. That's funny. Brambles are blocking the way. We should find their source. Oh. 
Manor, Lucid. <laughs> I like those directions. We'll go this way then. That's probably its source, is that bulb. Grab some taters. And get ready for a fight. I don't think we need to heal or anything. Oh, nice. Get a free... Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no, no. You know what we're going to do here? This might be dumb, but we're going to... We're going to sunball. I think that was a bad idea. Oh, wow. Ow. I think that was a bad idea, actually, because uh, I was thinking that I had more damage. That's okay. Actually, it'll be fine, because what we'll do then is I'll attack this. And then who cares if it heals, right? I want a group heal? Damn. Forty-five damage out of Garl with that double boost. We'll go ahead and smack this. Perfect. And then boost. Break that lock. Oh, easy peasy, y'all. Let's go ahead. Wow, they do that a lot, though. Jeez. Like every other turn they do that lock. Oh, look. Oh, that is so cool looking. Oh, uh, reminds me of Final Fantasy IX and the Evil Forest. Just the the way the brambles look and beating the like a almost like a parasite cage enemy. Super cool. Is there anything? I it's gonna be hard to find stuff, I feel. Oh, look at the gravestones too. This is so cool. You need you need a creepy cemetery-esque area in every RPG, right? We can all agree on that. Beautiful though. Some shrooms. Okay. Like I said, I'm gonna be running into a lot of walls. Oof. <laughs> Okay, we'll grab that. And br more brambles. So let's actually use... Use a herb filet on... And then a roast sandwich. No, we don't need that. Um, probably should just use that. That's okay. Right, we'll be fine for now. We'll continue on. These enemies are no joke at this point. Like, damn. Some of these random encounters are spicy. Uh, maybe it's just because, like, the, the, like, we can't break that lock on the zombies. We just, we just can't break that, right? Oh, there's a wild spirit back here. Oh, darn. Okay. I think if we do this... It's at least enough damage to almost be able to kill it on the next. Like if she hits it. Oh my God, one HP. Oh. If she would have had that staff, it would have been fine. All right, that took care of him. I'm a little worried about, oh shoot, that's fast, whoa. Uh, this is a good time, I feel, to use our mushroom soup. We're gonna wait on the wild spirit. Uh, or we're gonna wait on the... Nice. Alright, goodbye, Bulba. Uh, let's go ahead and actually just get a big boost here. What are these things weak to, man? I don't know if they're weak to anything. I think they just... 300... Almost 400 XP from that. I think they just... Um, I don't know. I think they just 
don't resist anything, maybe? Okay, jump down here. I'm so scared of uh, enemies in this area. Looks like we can jump over here and grab that. Is there anything? Nope. Okay. Nothing down there. Jump across. Ooh, can I ignore? Whoop. Okay, hang on. Let's see if we can. Yes! Okay. I saw this area was like, wait. Oh, a rainbow conch! Early boost. We're gonna go ahead and actually do another one here. And yeah, let's actually do. We'll do moon ring. And hey, maybe we get it. Sixty nine damage. Nice. Double boost, enough to take it out. That was easy, 264 for that one. And we also grab an onion, another onion. And our, I believe 18th, 18 rainbow conches so far. I feel like we're still early in the game, but okay. Yeah, 18. Cruising. How many do you have so far if you're up to the, oh shoot. I don't know what I was thinking there, y'all. Oh, we don't really have an option here, do we? Uh, the only thing we can do is moon ring. I guess they only heal for 26. That doesn't feel like that much. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and attack here. Might be able to take out one of them. Oh my gosh. 21. Perfect. Uh, we're going to use Nourish on Garl. Beautiful. Then we'll go ahead and attack this guy. And we'll be able to actually do a nice Mending Light here. Bring us all back up to full. Nice! And I was able to time that Mending Light for the first time ever. Go ahead and grab this boost. Oh. I feel like we're now starting to see the difference in stats and, like, our bonuses. Like, you can tell, like, Zale takes, you know, less or more physical damage than Garl does. All right, let's get these boosts here. And finish off the end. There we go. 300 experience, 444 left to level up. We're, uh, we're, wow. Zooming on that. Now, Garl's not going to be able to fight with us come the... Man, I need a camp so bad. He's not gonna be able to fight with us come the Dweller, right? So, oh, look at that. Ask and you shall receive, friends. Ask and you shall receive. Let's go ahead and rest here. Banshee's Whale. Banshee's, oh, I guess that's the Dweller of Woe. We'll head this way. Looks like we have more brambles. Can't do anything when there's a bunch of brambles there. We gotta get rid of the bramble. Okay. Looks like maybe there's multiple brambles. Dang. Just, it's like, it just feels constant, constant spicy here. We'll go ahead and break this. This is a big, this is a very dangerous, like, holy smokes. We'll go ahead and grab that. And we'll actually moon ring here. Oh, no. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Woo, that is so fast. Got a double tap on that. Let's go ahead and see if we can. Yeah, definitely need to kill these wild spirits here. Those are going to, those are going to be what screws us, I think. Uh, let's sunball on this. Yeah. 
Yes, deleted. Oh, one health. One health left on that bulb. Nice. And then we will switch to her. Big boost. Let's finish this up, girl. 37. Oh, easy. Never mind. I was expecting that fight to be super scary. We did level up yet again. We are, what, level six? Level seven? We're gonna go ahead and give this point uh, to physical attack, giving us a bonus of four here. Again, Zale is kind of our mixed attacker. Valir feels like she is very much our, our physical attacker. So I don't really want to give her too much magic attack, to be honest with you. Mana probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. You know what? Let's give her mana. This way she actually gets mana on that, right? And then for our boy, we're going to do... Uh, we're going to give him physical defense. Good job, Garl. One bone. We get another chest that has another bone armor. Ooh, I actually don't know if I want to equip that, though. See, this is what I mean. I shouldn't have bought one. I shouldn't have bought one. You can't equip it either. Darn. Darn. Big old waste it was. That water looks so gross. So did the other, when we were fishing, I was like, ew, this is gross. <laughs> looks nasty. All right, so we we'll, we took care of a bramble on that side. We got to take care of a bramble now on this side as well. How are we doing? Um... You know what? It's not the it's not the worst idea to go rest. These enemies are just capable of trucking so hard that it doesn't feel worth to try to stay alive. Or to try to not rest, you know? Alright, so we can't go that way because Bramble. So I guess we go down this way. Alright, I still need a weapon for Valir. That is that is what I need. Poor girl, I should have bought that staff. How was I to know? Blind playthrough. Definitely recommend, viewer, to have bought that staff earlier. Maybe I included that in the edit. Oh, spicy. Okay. Um, how do we want to handle this? We're not going to be able to... We can at least do this. And then... We boost uh, just a little bit with with Zale, and I don't think he's going to be able to kill one of these outright. Ah, oh, okay, one dead. This one's going to big. This is a huge chomp chomp. Fifty one damage. All right, let's go ahead and moonerang here. See what I mean, though? Like these enemies are capable of doing so much damage. At least we got the bouncy trophy. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Oops. Woo! Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Let's finish this. All right, I'm not worried now, so we'll go ahead and do a double boost here so that this does more. 41 damage to that. Nice. Woo hoo hoo! We are barely holding on here. Oh, I was hoping for a mending light before, but actually, might still get one. We might actually be able to get one. Oh, she's so close. 504 XP, though. Goodbye, Brambles. I love seeing those disappear. That looks so good. Uh, got bones, onion, mushrooms. Come on, there's got to be something. Yes! Weapon for Valir. Weapon for Valir. Weapon for... Okay, it's not, but it's money. Obsidian ore. Went down here, right? Nothing down. This is actually where we... Okay, wait. So... Maybe... 
Ooh. What is this? We can open that now? A shimmering shard. Shimmering shards. Oops. Increases damage dealt to undead by 15%. That is great. Let's go ahead and actually equip... Um, I think we'll equip... Um, yeah, let's equip Zell with that. And then we'll equip our boy with the green leaf that now puts him at 106 health, which is... That is great. That is a lot. Nice. I'm glad I uh, I'm glad I saw that little pathway there. Because that is very, very helpful. 15% more to undead. And I have a feeling we're going to be fighting a couple more undead before we are completely out of the cursed woods. I don't think there was anything hidden behind any of those brambles. We got the one that was over there. So let's go heal up real quick. And if we head here, we'll be able to save once more. Now that we got all of that, I have no problem saving over that. All right, now that we're healed, saved. We got those double brambles out of the way. Proceed north. So hard to tell if there's anything there. Let's see where we're going here. Uh-oh, I'm nervous. There he is. Hey, wait! How do we stop them? Gah, where's that strength coming from? Oh no. Uh, uh. Uh, we failed. But... The Dweller's grasp is too strong. The captain was right. Can't we go in? Maybe it's not too late. No way we'd break that barrier. Even the Headmaster will need the Eclipse to get us through. So we just give up? If we die in vain, we can't help anyone. Uh, right. Maybe it won't be too late by the time you do the cleansing. Yeah. Let's head back for now. I've sure had enough of these woods. Another one already? Maybe we made it angry by trying to help. We should have listened. No, not Garl! Garl? Garl, no! Valir, hang on! That's not fair! You can't take him! Oh, no, no. Oh, my God. Oh, she's a hundred per... Whoa, hey, whoa. Hey! I was hoping we would meet under different circumstances. Uh, explain yourself right now? Oh, that's... She's Captain... She's Captain Cliche. I am not your enemy. I used numbing poison to paralyze your friend's body. It was either that or letting him walk through that gate. Uh... It's a long shot, but if we hurry, we might be able to fetch a soul stone. What? A soul stone? Enchanted gems that dispel powerful curses. Someone on this island uses them to remain free of the dweller's grasp. If we get one, it should consume the mind control spell on your friend. I know just the place, but... Well, what are we waiting for, then? I wish I had more time to explain. Uh-oh. Zayla, are you okay? I... Yes, we need to find a soul stone. First, let's take him back to the inn. Huh? We have to hurry. Over here. I knew she was gonna join us. This shortcut will help. A mysterious assassin joins the party. Wait, is she on? She's, oh, she's in our team. Poor, look at Garl in cargo. That's so funny. She has silver daggers. A dexterous bangle increases bonus from timing hits and blocks by 10%. Ooh. Can we take stuff from Garl? We cannot. Dang. I just gave him the thing. The green leaf. Son of a mother. Porker. All right. 
Venom Flurry. Venomous darts hit all enemies. A well-placed kick that delays an enemy's actions? Are you kidding me? <gasps> she has poison! Oh, I see, I knew it. I figured, teleports to backstab the target with a venom-coated blade. I feel like we just want, Disorient is probably ridiculously good. She has no combos. We don't know her name. Your friend doesn't have much time. Let's use the shortcut to the right. Holy smokes. Um, okay. You're cool. Big fan. Big fan of your work. So she's been following us. I. She looks like Captain Cliche. Which is funny. Alright, we have a battle that we can check out her... What she does, right? Alright, let's go ahead and attack this first. She now has gets a bonus. Alright, let's see let's see her phase shiv here. Oh my gosh, you're so Oh, and they're weak to poison! That makes sense. Poison ant. That was so cool. I love her. I hate to say goodbye to Garl, but we might be saying goodbye to Garl. Curious if there's any... Like, I need to wait to see if there's items. Nope. Oh, this is the passageway. Okay. Oh my gosh, more. But we do have slashing, and I think hers count as that too, so. That is so much damage though. All right, let's see. Yeah, hers does too. Nice. Well, now I know why the enemies were pretty tough here. Is because they, they're they meant for her, right? All right, let's, uh, that hits all enemies. Press X on throw to keep going. Oh, that is so cool. Holy smokes, she is awesome. Wow. What? That is so cool. I am so glad she is on our team and that I kept going because I almost ended the episode early, y'all. Uh, well, not early, but because we've been going for a while. I almost ended the episode before we met her, and I'm so glad I kept going because it's it's like, you know, I'm recording this, but also I'm I'm playing for me too. I don't want to put it down. This is this game's so good. It's so good. Alright, we already we have a lot of enemies trying to get out of here though. Holy, holy, holy. All right, let's go ahead and do a... We're gonna do this and... Yeah, we're gonna need to cook some food for sure. We'll need to do some cooking after this. Early boost. And I think what we're gonna do here is... How best do we wanna deal with this? Um, I bet you that disorient is super good. It does poison and interesting. So actually, if we do, let's say we do, let's attack this. And then if she uses disorient. Oh, okay. So we were able to break the lock. Delays their oh it delays their lock I bet that is so cool though she's definitely gonna take some like her timings obviously I gotta get used to but she is so cool wow I'm I'm I feel like the more and more I play this game the more impressed I am uh, portal assassin is that what they what her thing is. It's just assassin, okay. All right, so now we gotta see if we can leave here, make it to the world map. 
for our boy Garl. This will have to do for now. Now, are you willing to risk your lives in order to save your friend? Absolutely. Then we must hurry to the necromancer's lair. With a bit of luck, Ramaya won't be home and we can grab a soul stone unnoticed. Are necromancers really that dangerous? Ramaya is one of the three sisters. They are wielders of powerful magic. One of the sisters is good, one evil, and the other neutral. The evil one is a necromancer living on this island. She is rumored to be the most formidable of the three. As to whether or not that makes her more powerful than Solstice Warriors, I hope we won't have to find out. How can we get there? East of Lucent is a ferryman who will take us across the bog if we play our cards right. This is the only way to the Necromancer's Lair. Okay, we have a plan. What's your name, by the way? Hmm. Sarai. Sarai? Thanks for the help, Sarai. I don't know what we would have done without you. Hmm. Let's make haste. Garl, we won't fail you, I swear. Valir learned combat skill Lunar Shields. I'm... What? Miniature moons each protect allies from a single hit and heal slightly. What? Where? What? That sounds really good. Protect allies, so... Whoa, that's gonna be really cool. That, we, what? Hang in there, Garl. We'll be back with a soul stone. Y'all, see, I knew Garl. I knew we were gonna end up in that room. That is. Notice how the, I'm just saying, notice how the captain's not here. Isn't that weird? My daughter loves music. Yeah, this is so fun. Would you like... To no, that's okay. Please come by another time, okay? Well, my friends, we are going to end this episode here. It was a little bit of a long one, but holy smokes. I am so excited. We got this person. I just... I am so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. Hey, huge shout out to those of you watching in the premiere. Thank you very much. Big shout out to those of you leaving likes and comments as well. I sincerely appreciate it. In the next episode, we will hopefully hang out with Sarai here. Oh, okay, you just do cool idols. That's awesome. And uh, we hopefully save Carl. What an amazing game. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the, the necromancer? To Sarai? To the random enemies that we found in that bog that were insane? Look at that. <laughs>